Hello. Um, so, Champions Cup final. Leinster La Rochelle, the exact same match as last year, which most of you probably already know, ended in the most dramatic of fashions with La Rochelle scoring a last minute try to win their first Champions Cup. What a game that was. I remember it well. I remember watching that last minute try. And even though I don't really mind either team, I'm neutral. You know, I've just got a barbarian shirt on. I thought I'd just remain neutral. I was up jumping about because it was great. Um, will they do it again, though? I, I hate to say it, but I really don't think they will. Leinster have been a different animal this season. By far the best team in the world. They've only lost one game this season, which was only a couple of weeks ago away to Bulls. Um, and now, obviously, I know Leinster played like a very lower stream team, but still, Bulls beat them, so all credit to them, they're the only team to beat them this year. Um, but apart from that, they basically demolished everything in their sights. Um, most teams just not getting very well near them. Um, Stormers did draw with them as well, so... You know, the South African teams again showing that they are also quality, quality teams. Um, but I'm not here to talk about them because they're not in the cup final this year. Maybe they will be next year, the year after, who knows. Um, but no, we're here for Leinster and La Michelle, and I think this is going to be a corker of a game, hopefully. Um, although I am slightly worried that Leinster might just run away with it, if I'm going to be brutally honest. I love La Rochelle, I love what they do, I think they're a great team, but I've said before, Leinster are just on a different level, by far the best team in the club team in the world at the minute. Um, also internationally, you know, they've, they've got the majority of Ireland with them, so they are kind of the best team in the world as well. Yeah, probably top club and international when you go Leinster and Ireland, but Ireland are not playing in the final, Leinster are... I know some people will call them Blue Ireland, but that's not for me to judge. I'm not Irish. As the flag says, I'm Scottish. It's whatever. I don't really like to show much favouritism outside of Scotland. Obviously, there's some teams I favour more than others, but really outside of Scotland, I don't really care. I mean, I do care. I love the sport more than anything. Um, but... I would love to see La Rochelle win this, but Leinster are. Um, just the Leinster forwards are like nothing else. I mean, I do know La Rochelle did dispatch Exeter fairly strongly in the semi-final a couple of days ago. Um, and Exeter are a good team. Um, it was a good game, but just Leinster ravaged Toulouse. Like, really ravaged them. And I feel like it's almost, I don't know if anyone else has, but I've almost got the feeling La Michelle's already lost. I mean, to be fair, I think this final was already won before the first kickoff of the first game of this tournament in back in December. Um, I think Leinster had already won it, to be honest with you, and... I did say that, and Leinster are now in the final, so, yeah, I think Leinster will pull off the URC and um, Champions Cup final, final, double, I meant to say double, although they will win both finals. I mean, obviously, you know, La Rochelle could win the final, they could trip up in the URC, you know, they've got, I want to say they've got Connor might be Sharks, though. I want to say they've got Connet. They don't, they have Sharks. Um, oh, still have Connet. And then there's Glasgow Monster and Stormers Bulls. Um, but we're not talking about the URC. I will cover that just in a separate video. This is about the Champions Cup final. Leinster have won, I think, already. As I've said several times, um, just, they've been immense. Just an amazing team, Leinster. <laughs> um, backed by the Leinster Academy has more funding than the Scottish and Welsh full academy for the international team. 
as combined lends to have more funding. So, and then, yeah, they just keep all their players because, well, a they're one of the best teams in the world. Why would you want to leave them? And b they sign really long contracts when they're young, um, and then they keep them all the way through. They sign like seven or eight contracts when they're like nineteen, twenty, which you know takes them through most of their career. That's how they do it. It's a way of doing it. Some people agree with it. Some people don't. Again, I'm not bothered. They're one of the best teams in the world. They're great. I love watching them. I did go to Dam Health to watch them playing there against Edinburgh. And just got nowhere near them. No one has. I mean, that's a lie. Stormers and Bulls have. Stormers do. And Bulls beat them. But, yeah. Leinster have won the final already. And although I would love to see La Rochelle give them a game. That's kind of what I spent six minutes waffling the same thing. I do that a lot, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, if it's going to be the deep dive in Edinburgh or the Scotland women, Six Nations, or see where, which stats and stuff I can kind of pull up first. Um, I know some, but I will research. It just depends on our time and what I have time for. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. If you think Clara Sherrill's going to win, or if you agree with me that Leinster's going to win, let me know. It'd be great to find out. Um, but yeah, until then, I'll see you next time.